Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. This is Cougar and uh, another episode from the Technician's Corner. As you can see, I'm already taking the back panel off of this. This is a Latitude 3310 and uh, we're going to be replacing the system board on this. Uh, just like most of them, there's about eight screws or so, uh, give or take, on the back of this. Uh, once we're moving those, you'll just kind of uh, release the little clips that are around the outside. Uh, next here, I'm going to be pulling off the battery cable, or at least disconnecting it. And there's a little piece of tape there uh, that you got to kind of peel up first before you can actually get it to unplug from the system board. Uh, and then you can just move it out of the way. Um, I'm not going to take the battery out just because this isn't that difficult of a uh, of a change. Uh, now, right there, I was uh, removing the cable for the keyboard, and then up here, of course, here goes the RAM as well. Now, this little one right here, this is a NVMe uh, M.2 style uh, SD card. So uh, that's the hard drive that basically that just came out and now I'm pulling off the plate for the cable that goes to the LCD and I uh, take that plate off and then we can go ahead and pop that cable off as well and uh, right here I'm unscrewing there's a little bracket that uh, holds down the little dongle piece for the AC adapter Now here I've just unscrewed and I'm kind of fishing the wires out because I don't like to take them off, but this is the Wi-Fi card. And the two little wires there are the antenna wires. I uh, just try to kind of push that over and out of the way. Uh, and then I can go ahead and I'm disconnecting the little connector for the fan there, of which I don't actually have to take the fan out either. But I did take the, of course, the heat sink off. Uh, then there are just the three screws that hold the system board itself in. Uh, those are the only three screws that are actually on the board itself. And then with a little finesse, you can pop off that battery. Uh, pretty solid sticky back to those. Uh, but once you get it popped off, then you can go ahead and... Uh, pretty much take the system apart. You're just going to make sure you get those last couple cables if there's any left, uh, like that flat cable that was on the side. And here's the new board. Go ahead and get that out and kind of situated and get rid of this old one here. Now when putting this in, I like to lift the little tabs first just makes it a little easier and then I also like to put it in as you can see one end in first because that tends to slide into the edge of the case uh, and that way it makes it snap down a little easier and then most of this is really just the reverse of what I did when I took it apart I sit there and I may not be going in the same order but of course making sure I plug that fan in getting some of those cables pushed in, uh, the flat ribbon cables for the touchpad or the uh, keyboard or the little side connections there, uh, as you can see as well. Now, of course, here I'm plugging the uh, AC adapter plug back in. And there I'm getting the LCD cable plugged in and get the little uh, the little cover that kind of makes sure it stays where it's supposed to get that put back in as well. Simple one, just snap the ram in. Make sure both sides seat and that you've got it pressed down in there firmly. And then when you route these wires for the Wi-Fi card, Make sure they go down into the little clips around the uh, around the fan there, and then you have that little tab that kind of goes across with the screw that holds it all down. 
same with when you're plugging in the hard drive there. Make sure it's seated in there properly. Uh, now here I'm cleaning off all the old thermal paste uh, that was on there. It was all dried and uh, there was actually way too much on there. As you can see here, I'm putting just the smallest little bit across the, uh, the dies. It only needs enough to spread across the die. It doesn't need to cover over the sides or anything like that because it helps to uh, dissipate the heat better if you use less rather than more. Now we've got the battery plugged back in and uh, we should be able to go ahead and give it a try here. Power light comes on. All right, waiting for the screen. There it goes, pop back on. The Spin Technician's Corner. My name is Cougar. If you guys would like to check out on the social media, be down there below. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.